Hey, Pastor, good to hear from you of the wonderful things that God is doing in your life. I am praying for you. I hope you're praying for me. It's going to be a good year. 2020 is going to be a good year. I want to be in your life and ministry. I want you to share with me what's going on in your life. I want to know some of the tough times you've been through and how you plan to sail through the coming year. It's going to be a good year. This might be the year the Lord Jesus comes. But I can tell you what, it's going to be the year that where the church is going to grow. Your church is going to do well, it's going to grow. And I'm committed to that. I want to do a quick three-part series for these short videos just to look at how we could start the year well. You as a pastor and the church and the men in our church. As I think about 2020 and how I want to start the year right, the first and foremost thing I want to do is cast a vision. I need to be able to know for sure that every single person sitting in my church in my home groups, in my families, every man, woman, every child, we're on the same page. We know where we're going as a church for the year, in our ministries, in our leadership, we know where we're going. And the vision of the church is not changed from what it also has always been. The head of the church is the Lord Jesus, but the vision of the church can be cast in a new way with certain new items, goals, targets, and behavioral changes that you as a pastor and you as a leader, shepherd of the flock, can commit to along with your family, your church family. Say, this year, we are going to be more stronger in our personal faith. Or this year, we're going to bind our families or our marriages stronger. This year, we're going to look at hurting individuals or hurting singles. This year, we're going to work through counseling issues. You know, you could, you could cast a vision for the coming year to say, are you with me? Are you with me? A vision is very important. and Without that, people will not get on board with you. They need to know where you're going. They need to find out what's on your heart and that you have received that from God and that you are taking the church where God wants it to go. So the first Sunday or at least the second Sunday, while the whole new year thing is new and every, it's still fresh, you, bro, my dear brother, need to cast a vision for the church. You need to lay it out in simple terms, maybe in points, maybe in a statement, maybe in a picture, saying, brothers and sisters, this is where we're going. This is what we need to do. And when they catch your heart, they will, uh, they will join forces with you. They'll join hands with you. Let's do that. Let's, uh, let's cast a vision this coming year. And let's be sure and clear about that vision so that it's, it's clear in our heads, it's clear in the heads of our, our people, and we are all together for this coming year. Like I said, it's going to be a powerful year. It's going to be a fruitful year. But it can only be so if everybody's on the same page. And a vision will do that for you and for me. If you want to hear my vision message, I, I, I invite you to uh, tune in on the, in the second Sunday of January. And I'll be broadcasting the vision message there. It'll give you a kind of an idea. If you want to hear earlier from me about that, please, there's an email at the bottom of this uh, screen at the end of this video. Write to me and I'll send you my notes. And you can even look through that and kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. I've seen it work. That's why I'm sharing it with you. And I know that this is what our church needs. Let's grow our church. Thank you.